guys. I thought I'd just do a little update video on the animals um, and cage tours on them. I told you guys I would do some cage tours and I haven't got around to it. So I figured I'd do a few while they're awake. It's nine o'clock at night, so pretty much everyone's up for the night. So I figured I'd show you everybody while they're awake. So here we go. We'll do my crested gecko first. Here's his terrinally, terrin I can never say it right. Um, his home, terrinium, whatever, trillium. You know, you know what I mean. Anyways, he has like a lot of fake plants, some live tree branches. His water's back here. There's his food, his little paste that he eats. I just had him out a few minutes ago because I was cleaning his tank. So there he is. He's a very pretty boy with black spots on him. Here's his waterer, his drip waterer. And I'm having issues with it because it made his house way too wet. So I um, cleaned it out and I just let a little bit of wetness at the bottom. You can see it's still messy right here. And here is my snake, which I think I may have just... I don't know if I've showed you guys my snake or not. He does not like to come out. Ever since we got him, I just feed him under... He likes to hide under here. So here he is. He's always hiding, curled up. I don't know if he's getting ready to shed or what his problem is. But he is a ball python. He's got the spider... Um, pattern and in his tank it's pretty simple in his tank he's got a um, 30 gallon tank it just has this which he actually did climb on the few, first few days we had it and then he has his water dish and of course he gets um, frozen mice one or two a week so oh and then here's the heater for my my gecko and his drink his water and here of course he now he went to bed he was out a minute ago. Here's my tortoise. And these guys all need names yet. I haven't named any of them. But here's my red foot tortoise. He's a year old. I just had him a few weeks. He's actually really sweet. He doesn't mind being held. He doesn't hide when you pick him up or anything. But he likes his little hides. So I'm put it back. He has a, I think it's 40 gallon long tank. And in it, he has a little swimming pole, this little fake plant. I just threw some lettuce in there for him and his dry, his food. And then he has this little food dish, his uh, uh, UVB light, which I leave on during the day. Under that's my dog kennel for my dog sleep. And for some odd reason, these guys aren't even up yet. Their paper is a mess. I just cleaned it yesterday, but they got their dinners in there defrosting. But they're all still in bed. But here's my house for my um, sugar gliders. And in here, they have, this is got their dry food. This is a treat bowl. I put different food, different treats in here every night. All the time, different stuff, which I have to fill it right now. And they got all their toys. A couple of different things. A little platform up here they like to hide on. Another little hide. And then this is where they sleep most of the time. That just catches the water. If their water thing leaks, there's a sponge in there that catches the water. And then they got their wheel. And then here's the other ones. That top one has three, a male and two females. This one has two in it. There's their dry food, their treat bowl, their toys, their wheel. Which I think I need to loosen a little bit. And then I have a little hide. And then there's a little bed down there. Another toy up there. Another little hide right here. And then this is where they sleep usually. It's in there. I don't know if we can see any of them or not. Oh, you can see them peeking. See the little eyeballs in there? <laughs> oh, they're going to crab at us. I messed with them while they were sleeping. So, and here, here's my chinchilla. This is Mink. Say hi, Mink. She just got her treats. She's eating. The good baby is a good treat. She's got her little platforms that she can chew on. She has this one and this one. And then she has this platform. She got a little straw bed and has some of her toys and treats on it. A little log with treats. She has this toy she can chew on. She has a, one water here. And then a little. I use this to catch water because it likes to drip sometimes. And then she has her two... Yeah, her little wooden platform over there that she loves to get in the corner. And then down here, uh, she, 
she finally got her big nice big chinchilla wheel she's got her um some haze in there now but it usually has um timothy pellets and then platforms for her duty to get caught on there's her hay rack back there here's her hide she likes to sleep on which has a nice ceramic tile she can lay on to keep cool this is her food bowl and it's got a little treat in it another water bottle i have a water bottle on each level here's her little bed her hammock bed little platform here's a thing with a little biscuit her um little thing she can chew on foster no and she has one down here she can chew on helps her with her teeth and then she has fleece underneath everything unicorn fleece so that's her she's so cute and then here's my bearded tank it needs cleaned i cleaned it when i brought him up but they still aren't very clean here's my little bearded he's so cute he's really pretty he's got a he's a smooth back and then i gotta fill his water here's his little water dish there's some food there's some mealworms and some dry food that i wet for him he's like got his tree branch he likes to climb on his little hide here which has a heat heater under it this is his uvb light and then this has a um heating pad underneath to keep him warm so there's my old man's tarantulas there's one and there's one in there and one in there and then here's my leopard geckos house they have some mealworms back there here's their water bowl i just put this little tree thing in here for them they got a hide there a wet it's a moist hide and then there's a moist hide here which she's in there i think because she's shedding he's under here hiding and then he's got that hide they got that hide they got one two four hides in theirs so plenty of hides here is my hedgehog he's awake so that's why i want to do video while everybody's awake say hi buddy he's looking a lot better you see his coils are starting to come back you can see little stubby ones growing in um he wasn't treated very well we don't think when we got him because he had like a really bad almost like a fungus on his feet and we've been bathing him and taking care of that and then we bought special stuff to go in his food and bought him really good food from exotic nutrition so that um he's getting healthier he's getting friendlier he still does that whenever i first get in here but he was when we first got him his whole underneath it's like where his white fur is was bright red and, and irritated but he has this food dish He's got his little hide with his bed, some toys. Them guys' his hay got in here a little bit. Here's his little chinchilla toy. He's got a chinchilla wheel with his little litter box underneath and some newspaper. He's got a little toy here he can chew on. And his water bottle. He doesn't really like his water bottle, so I give him a bowl of water all the time. So that makes sure he always has something to drink. And then here's this little guy. He's still really scared. He's got his hide in his bed. He's got a little hay rack, the ball, and his fleece. I literally, I literally just cleaned the poop out. Like I clean this every day, and I change the fleece like every other day, and they're so messy. He's got a little bed here if he wants to go inside, which he never does. Then it has a little duty on there, <laughs> and has his um some alfalfa or Timothy little squares that I give him all. And then he's got his food. Then over here we got Big Mama. She still hasn't had her babies yet. Which I'm going to be putting this stuff along here tomorrow to keep them from falling out when they're born. So she's due actually, they said two weeks, so it should be tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, and there's her, I got her litter box, which she doesn't really use. I keep putting her poop in there to try to give her a hint to use it. There's her food. She has her little straw thing that she's been eating. And then she's got a little bed there, a little straw thing. He's finally gotten too big to get over here with her, which is good. But yet they can still see each other. And then here's her little hide in a bed. A little ball she can chew on. And then she has another hide right here. And then this salt thing, this um, rock thing that she can chew on. And they both have like salt things they can chew on over there too. So this is the newest addition that we've added. We got for the turtles. There's one of the turtles. It's got a little fountain. It's got a heater in there. We got some, and we got SpongeBob stuff in there because the kids love SpongeBob. I don't know where our other turtle is right now. He's always the one always seems to be in the water, and the other one always seems to be out of the water. Let's see if we can find him. Where's your buddy at? Huh? Oh, now you're going to jump in the water because I'm messing with you. Let's see, where is he? 
He always hangs out at the bottom. I don't know how he holds his breath as long as he does. I have to look in here every day to find him. You, you're going to get stuck back there. Where's your friend at? I don't know where he is right now. I'll look, I'll look for him a little bit later. I can't seem to find him. I don't think he could get out. But anyways, that's the tank for Foster. Leave the chickens alone. The turtles. And it's going to drive me nuts if I don't find him. Oh, there he is. I don't know where he came from, but there he is. Goofball. And there's the other one. But yeah, they love it. You need to put water. This is how much has evaporated in like a week already. So I don't fill it super high because I want their platform and I want them to get out. So here is my Pac-Man frog. He's actually out for once. He's hiding in that corner back there. There he is. He has some crickets underneath there. I'm hoping he actually ate them finally. And there's just the crickets. And these are the babies we got right now. Got four chicks in here. Incubator full. Just move some of these ones into the incubator. And then the button quail are still in here. They seem to be liking it in there. Man, is their tank dirty. They've been throwing poop everywhere. So I gotta clean their tank. And then these six guys hatched this week. These guys are all um, snowflake quail. So cute. So this is where you come in the back door. I'll just show you an overview. There's my Christmas tree. Well, I have a tree I leave up all the time. Overview of the room. So that is it. Just want to show you guys everybody's cage. And, and there's a chinchilla just running on our wheel. It's kind of rattly, but it doesn't bother us because we're in a different room. So she loves her wheel though. But I want to do a video at night when these guys were up and active. I wish the sugar gliders would have been up, but they're still sleeping. But a bunch of them, um, I'm pretty sure most, all three girls are going to have babies soon. So it looks like they have babies in their pouches, which is really exciting. So I'll try to catch that on video soon. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Please subscribe and please hit the notification bell and like this video. So we can get more videos and more subscribers. Talk to you later. Bye.